Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sport tonight. Come and subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So the WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman, is not happy with Dillian White making comments about the WBC and the whole situation in the press. And this is what Mauricio Suleiman had to say. We have the highest respect for Dillian White. He's our number one contender, our silver champion, my friend and a tremendous fighter. But to be insulted over and over again makes it very difficult to continue addressing a situation. We are going through a mediation process, but if they want to handle through the press, it may change. I've been getting insults on social media, trashing my father's reputation, insulting my family. We stand for justice. Our history is very clear and we just do the thing via the right process. So that is Mauricio Suleiman's statement. Now, first of all, listen, okay. I have been here at the forefront giving loads of people the ammunition to throw at the WBC, but every single one of them has been fact. Now, what I haven't been trying to do, and Dinny White hasn't been trying to do either, is encourage people to insult Mauricio Suleiman or his family or anything like that. This is about Mauricio Suleiman, the WBC, doing the right thing. So Mauricio Suleiman, sit down, breathe easy, and listen up. All we want you to do it's the right thing. Dillian White has been the number one in the WBC for 600 days. And it looks like that this will continue and continue and continue because you are keeping Wilder away from Dillian White. All Dillian White wants is a fair crack at Deontay Wilder. Win, lose or draw, the chips will fall wherever they may. He wants that opportunity and you seem to be allowing Deontay Wilder to fight whoever the hell he wants. As a fan of boxing, as all fans of boxing, you should want this fight. This is a win-win for all sets of fans. If Dillian White wins, finally, we can say, excellent, now the WBC title will be defended against those who are worthy rather than cherry-picked all the time because Dillian White will fight anyone. If Deontay Wilder defeats Dillian White, then guess what? He's got a credible name on his resume and he will get a lot of support and a lot of fans and his hype and all his reputation will go through the roof by defeating Dillian White. This is a win-win situation. Mauricio Suleiman doesn't want to do this and it appears from the outside looking in that he doesn't want to do this because Al Heyman, the PBC, Deontay Wilder, Shelley Finkel don't want Mauricio Suleiman to do this. So this isn't about the reputation of your father Mauricio this isn't about him whatsoever but as you did mention him he put on great fight after great fight that WBC heavyweight title was fought for and against the highest level of opposition the right fight fights were made at the right time your dad was not afraid to make the right decision yes of course listen he was biased towards Don King no doubt about it but the fact is he put on the great fights. He ordered his champions to defend the title within the timely manner. But since you have taken over, you have allowed Wilder to have two managing defences in four and a half years when your own rules state once every 12 months, minimum. So he owes you at least two more managing defences, but you allow him to be given a pass. You allow people ranked below your WBC silver champion to get a shot ahead of Dillian White. You are allowing Wilder to go fight a rematch with Luis Ortiz. You even ordered Wilder versus Tyson Fury again after allowing Tyson Fury to get the first title shot when, when he shouldn't have even been ranked at that point. He wasn't even enrolled in VADA when you allowed this fight to happen. Again, these are your rules. You cannot be ranked by the WBC if you're not part of the clean boxing program but you ranked him anyway. So you bend the rules to suit Deontay Wilder. So all we want you to do, who cares about what the fans say? Who cares about what the press says? Who cares about what Dillian White says? All we want you to do is make the fight. If Dillian White defeats Oscar Rivas, put it out there. Wilder must fight Dillian White next. No, well, Dillian White is our, is our mandatory and he will get his title shot in due course. No, 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 we don't want to hear that. We want to hear Dillian White will fight for the WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World next. No in-betweens, no waiting around. No, ch no number one challenger 
in the history of the sport has been 600 days. And as you are allowing Wilder to go fight a guy who's, who's already fought, and as you are quite willing, according to Bob Arum, that you are willing to allow Wilder to go fight back-to-back -back fights with Tyson Fury, all ahead of Dillian White, you're talking, what, at least another year and a half, maybe two years. So how many days is that? That's that Dillian White's going to be number one and keep having to jump through hoop after hoop after hoop. When Dillian White is taking on better opposition than any one of these guys that has been given a shot at Wilder, including when Wilder got his WBC title shot, he fought nowhere near the level of, of opposition that Dillian White has. That's all we want is boxing fans. Do the right thing, Mauricio. That's all we're asking. I don't condone people going over and chastising him on social media, but certainly get your point across that this is wrong. This is an injustice. You are protecting Wilder. You are protecting the WBC. Look up and down your rankings. It's filled full of PBC fighters. Why are these get, uh, guys getting title shots ahead of anybody else? Why are they getting favoritism? Why do you have Brett Yormark on your Supreme Council, who also runs the Barclays Center in New York, and is um, on the payroll of Al Heyman at Heyman Sports, part of the PBC in a directorial role? Why is that not, not seen as a conflict of interest, Mauricio? That's all we're asking you to do. Do the right thing. It shouldn't take this long. It's logical. Dylan White, number one. Dylan White, next. Unless you're not confident that Deontay Wilder is going to win that fight. But that shouldn't be your concern. You talk about how you're friends with Wilder. How you said in that statement that you're friends with Dylan White. You shouldn't be friends with anybody. Because then it creates bias. Simple as that. Dylan White's been paying you sanctioning fee after sanctioning fee after sanctioning fee. Has Tyson Fury ever paid you a sanctioning fee? No. Luis Ortiz? No. Chris Ariola? No. Arthur Spilker? No. Yohan Duapa? No. Joe Washington? No. Luis Ortiz? Did I say that one? I don't know. No, he hasn't. So why is it that these guys are getting opportunities ahead of Dylan White? You should be looking at the silver champion and going, he should be next. You should never have made... Dominic Brazil, the mandatory ahead of Dillian White. It just shouldn't have happened. And you can order that fight with or without Dillian White being mandatory. You can order that fight. You did it for Tyson Fury. You can do it for Dillian White. When you ordered Tyson Fury to go take a rematch with Deontay Wilder and gave him a higher split based on market value, as you called it. So therefore, you can do it for Dillian White. But you don't want to do that. Why? Because Dillian White is an Eddie Hearn fighter currently, right? Is that why you don't like Eddie Hearn? I'm just putting it out there. For me, it's absolutely disgusting what the WBC have done. Whether you like it or not, Mauricio. And nobody is insulting him or people shouldn't be insulting him as a person. People shouldn't be insulting his family or his father's legacy. As I said, his father's legacy is there. It's, it, it's written in stone. He's got a great legacy. But unfortunately, Mauricio, from a fan's perspective, you are letting down his legacy. You should be in heightening it, is what you should be doing. You should be trying to do more than what he done. Stop making your stupid little trinket belts for Canelo and that all the time. And Floyd Mayweather and Conor McGregor and the Pope and baseball players. No one cares about these belts. Do the right thing. Make Didion White the mandatory next. Listen, he's still got to get past Oscar Rivas. No guarantees and nothing. But if he does, make sure he's fighting Wilder next no ifs no buts no tyson furies no adam karnakis no third fight with bermain stavern or a rematch with donald brazil or a third fight with lewis ortiz none of that dillian white next dillian white next we know that that you love money, which is why you're always trying to stick your face on the camera for like these special events. Even Amir Khan against this Indian lad, you're sticking your face in there, you're creating a pearl belt, right? You like money. Dylan White generates a whole lot more money than what Deontay Wilder does. Think about it, Mauricio. Think about it. Think how many new, new titles that uh, you can make when Dylan White is defending that belt and giving you bigger sanction fees than what Wilder ever has done. Think about it. Anyway, drop your thoughts below, everyone. As I said, don't go over there and insult Mauricio on social media or anything. There is um, etiquette, you know. But listen, we know that 
Dina White is deserving of this. Mauricio Solomon doesn't seem in any kind of great hurry. It seems like he's afraid to upset Wilder or Al Heyman or whatever it may be. Or he's allowing this Brett Yormark. Again, I don't know if Brett Yormark is creating conflicts or having his own way. We don't know. But from outside looking in, we can only look at it and make our own judgment. And it does look like there is a conflict of interest. Make Dillian White not only mandatory if he defeats um, Oscar Rivas, but fight Wilder next. That's all we want. And then we leave you alone. Simple, isn't it? You can give Wilder another pass for another year or two. Whatever it may be. But right now, Dillian White versus Deontay Wilder next. If Deontay Wilder gets past Luis Ortiz. If Dillian White gets past Oscar Rivas. That's the fight next. Not Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury had his opportunity for a rematch and didn't take it. That's all we want, Mauricio. That is it. Drop your thoughts below. Click thumbs up. Subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.